Hi guys, uh, welcome back to new tutorial video based on simulation how to interface an uh, IME plugin in a simulation robot and I already gave some uh, basic tutorial about how to add a uh, letter plugin, camera plugin and a differential or skid steering plugin to the robot and simulate in the gazebo environment and visualize in uh, VisRite and in this tutorial video we are going to use uh, IMU sensor plugin uh, what is IMU? Initial measurement unit right uh, for uh, what is the uses of IMU sensor in robotics right uh, for making a localization of the robot right uh, uh, localization is nothing but uh, robot should know where I am right uh, in uh, in an environment or in a world uh, world frame a robot should know uh, where is it exact location of the robot and uh, and it should predict uh, pre previous uh, location right uh, that is an uh, use of localization for localization we need uh, some uh, sensors input and we need to fuse and uh, using a EKF algorithm expansion Galman filter and we will use the Galman, uh, Galman filter for uh, reducing noise of the sensors and uh, we need to fuse and we need to make the high precision level of localization in the robot and in this tutorial video we are going to implement the IMU plugin into the simulation robot and visualize in Novice and it will be show the location of the robot and how it move and uh, it rotation and uh, all things will be visualized in office and uh, simulated in gazebo and uh, you can take the IMA plugin from uh, gazebo environment or in uh, sorry in gazebo official website and I already launched the gazebo and uh, I give the I give the uh, previous video tutorial in uh, description follow that how to add a plugin to the dot launch gazebo and sacro files and after launching the gazebo go to another open another terminal and type ROS topic list Close it and after that type ROS topic list it will list what are the topics running on your uh, environment and you can see the IMU CMDL CMDL is a topic to do the tele operation and IMU is also publishing now after that launch of this uh, ROS launch depth camera description display dot launch and it will launch the RVs and we can visualize the IMU in the RVs right now the camera sorry now the robot is in uh, RVs environment and go to my topics and add IMU and scroll it down it will be show the one arrow mark like that it is an IME data we can visualize in this arrow and that moving is an uh, initial issue of a uh, robot and type ROS topic or uh, ROS run teleoperate to sticky board it will run the teleoperate node on your terminal enter it now you can do the teleoperation your robot and you can visualize in Avis the robot is moving around the environment and the IMU data is transferred from the gazebo to the Avis by using a plugin and type ROS topic eco IMU and you can visualize the IMU data is represented in a terminal the robot speed is go high so the data is reducing or and give the wrong data due to the high speed in the robot and we can see in gazebo it's not uh, environment right it gone somewhere in the environment you need to find out that and we see the how to simulate the IMU into the gazebo environment right 
first we need to take the plugin from the gazebo website and we need to paste it on dot launch gazebo and and we need to take the reference name from the dot zacro uh, which we gave previously when we create a uodf in uh, fusion 360 we, we give the some reference name right we need to take that reference name and we need to paste it on dot gazebo and after that we, ne we need to make the catkin make and launch the uh, gazebo in terminal and always and uh, type raw stop equal list for uh, visualize the output of the IME sensor in the terminal and type raw stop in node list what are the nodes are available on uh, environment will, will be visualized in a terminal and we can type raw topic or an, uh, raw node uh, information it will give the information of the node and we, we can type the exact node name with an information it will be so what are the topics what are the information what are the parameters running on uh, what are the services running on our uh, ROS node will be visualized in a uh, terminal okay thank you next we will uh, integrate the GPS with an robot and do the point navigation using uh, that ASCII or clear path robot for doing the navigation stack using a GPS uh, information global positioning system and making the point navigation that's a task and first we implement the IMU into the robot next we need to implement the GPS into the robot and we will take the high pre precision level and accurate level uh, localization thank you subscribe to the channel